Hi guys. So someone had a question about how to add scrolls to your um, nameplates. So I'm going to um, do a quick tutorial. First, let me um, duplicate this because I will be need needing um, a second piece. I'm just going to leave it in place though. And let's say this. Take this. Okay, when you um find the scroll you want to work with, sometimes you will have to finesse it to work with it because sometimes you have a Y, sometimes you have a G, P, J, whatever you have that goes beyond the baseline of the um the um, name or the text that you put up there. So sometimes you have this where it runs into the scroll runs into the letter. Now here's a workaround. If you don't want to, if you just love this scroll, you just have to use it, and you don't want to lose your letter, then we can alter the scroll so that you can be able to use it. So first, you're gonna you have here. Let me show you. Here I have a name layer. I just duplicated that because I'm gonna show you how to use that with the scroll so you have a name layer you have your shadow layer for your name and you have your scroll and then you have your shadow layer for your scroll so first let's put this back where it was and first we're going to attach the scroll to the shadow put this back so you can see what's going on and where you want it First, you slide it in place where you want it, what looks good to you, and leave it there. Then you'll take the name layer and the scroll layer and move them over out of the way. You'll select these two and weld. Now with that done, you'll put this, arrange this to send, send this to, let's send this to the back. Send that to the back. Put that back in place where you um, had it to line up perfectly. And then move the scroll over in place as well. Make sure you line it up almost perfect. And then what you'll want to do is cut this off select this and if you notice once once I select it you can't slice it here so what you're gonna have to do is put it on a separate layer because all this is basically one layer so if you if you have with both of these selected if you take control X to cut it and control V to paste it back where it was or semi where it was so now if you click off and then click back on I mean, select both of them again. Now you can slice it. So hit slice. And we did that while we made that extra one over here because once you hit slice, it cuts that Y out too. But you, you, can, you can weld this back together if you want to or just use this one over here. It's totally up to you. So... I didn't think of that before I started doing it. So let's just weld this together. Weld it back together. Simple. And then we'll cut this one back on. So this is here. And then this will piece in around the Y. So you don't lose your Y. And here's here is the example. This Let's say this um, background, you wanted it to be gold. And let's say you were going to do this um, name in a, um, let's see, pink glitter. And then you were going to do the scroll. Maybe you were going to do that in silver silver glitter or whatever now you see everything will show perfectly your Y does not run into this even if you did it in um, even if you did the scroll in gold 
it will still show up in your why. You'll have that definition. So we didn't even need this. So that is the that is the way you attach the scroll, guys. I hope this helps. And then you cut that in your your um pink, and then you know you know the rest of the steps. Duplicate. That's for your um the front of your shadow. This would be for the back, so you would horizontal flip that. And then do your layers. You know you know the rest, but that is how you attach the scroll, guys. So if you didn't have that Y there, if you didn't have the Y, then you wouldn't need to cut the scroll, but you could just slide it right up there however you want it but that's it i hope this helps